Welcome to this series of videos where we talk to Dr. Warren Corns, who's Research and Technical Support Manager at PS Analytical, about uh, mercury and the various issues to do with mercury in the environment and analysis of mercury. We talked in one of the other um, videos about mercury being used in a lot of industrial processes, and I know that one of those is gold and silver mining. Perhaps you'd explain a bit how that works, how, gold, how mercury is used in those environments. Yes, about 30% of the gold and silver that is mined uh, actually use, uh, is mercury in the extraction. So uh, mercury forms an amalgam with uh, gold and silver and uh, this allows you to extract it from um, um, rocks. And then uh, you normally separate the mercury by uh, heating it in a, um, uh, on an open fire and the mercury actually uh, vaporises, uh, leaving uh, gold left over. And with the uh, increasing uh, price of gold, uh, this type of uh, small-scale mining is, uh, is on the increase. And uh, obviously it's of concern to the miners and also to the um, uh, environment. Yeah, so the, the I guess with modern day techniques, they don't just vent that vapor off into the atmosphere. They they probably use a technique to re uh, recapture that mercury. I would take it. Well, some of these uh, uh, small scaling mining activities are done with very simple equipment, and uh, even though you um, uh, you can buy some uh, uh, retort um, apparatus to condense mercury vapor, it's typically not used because the purity of the gold that you find at the end process um, doesn't look as good um, and so for the miners they're not uh, in favour of using these improved techniques. So um, there's various ways that the uh, mercury can be used. Um, it can be used uh, as what they call whole ore amalgamation uh, where you basically um, add the mercury to um, uh, rocks that have been ground up. Uh, this typically um, uh, doesn't have great efficiency, so about 90% um, um, uh, of the mercury in that process is not actually um, uh, used, so it has to be recycled, uh, but, the, but there is a tendency sometimes for people to uh, discharge this, um, so it's got the highest pollution rate. You can also use it for panning, where the um, uh, gold is panned to separate the heavier particles and then the smaller particles are then mixed with mercury and of course the uh, gold and silver in this mixture um, uh, then amalgamate and then the mercury is released by uh, evaporation and the miners can be uh, exposed to very high levels of mercury uh, during this process because they're typically done on an open fire and the elemental mercury vapour can be inhaled not just for the miners but also for their families and their local communities.